you're watching this on youtube at a later date welcome to celio's network this is my round one match of the team winning in 256 free for all and i have entered the tournament with zoric glycopod my opponent is going first Looks like we'll have two turns to draw out of this bad of this bad hand. Playing against a Zoric deck. What a surprise. Oh, Zoric Weavile, okay. Lele. That'll be sick. Um So we, evolving our Wimp Pods gets rid of abilities. Does he only have one Sneasel? Yeah, only one Sneasel. Okay, we'll just take care of that fast then. Um... We'll attach here, and... I don't want to wimp out because I, I would like my Zeruas to live if possible. So, next turn we'll probably just go attach DCE Lele for Ener Cynthia, depending on their first turn. You ran Bulu Zerkatry. I think a friend of mine actually played against someone playing Bulu Zerkatry. I played Zoro Rock. Uh, I went 6 2 6 2 1. Okay, so they trade away the Guru. Evo Soda. They already have a Weavile down, and it is Evil Admonition. So, Evil Admonition is hitting for 100 right now. Guzma. Um, my friend that was playing it, I actually don't remember which friend it was. I know it was an orange pod, and whoever it was was 3-0, round 3. Because someone that I know played it at 3-0. Okay, so we're going to... <sighs> yeah, we'll send this up. And Lele for Cynthia. And I don't want to play another one pod down because that's just more abilities on the board making Evil Admonition do more damage. Um, it would be great to get another Zerua as we're going to counter catcher here, but that's asking for a lot. Blue pod? Okay, yeah. The one I knew of was... Uh, we can get rid of a Zorak here. That's good to put down. That's good to put down. Um, do this. Right of speeding. We have Acerola in the deck, so Ultra Ball for Lele for Acerola might be an option next turn. Ooh, Zorak Break, spicy.
So they got the dark energy. Bring up Glycopod and smack it. Okay. This makes me want the Acerola even more now, because I'm also knocking out their Weavile if I get it. So, ooh, Parallel is also really nice. Okay, so I think I'll trade away Mallow and then see what we have to Ultra Ball for the Acerola. Yeah, Zorovile is... I don't think it's going to do too well here. <laughs> also 24. I do not think it's going to do too well. Um, yeah, so we're going to Ultra Ball. These two. Uh, Lele. Acerola. And we'll also get to parallel him. Attach our energy for the turn. Parallel. And Riot is beating. Only played one Buzzwell to Malamar decks at NAAC. That's kind of low, actually. I played two Buzzrock, two Buzz Garb, and a Psychic Malmar. Six of nine, six out of nine of my rounds were against Tier One. So, I'm not really sure what his list is looking like. If he has Max Potion or Acerola, he definitely wants to see it soon. There's the Acerola. He faced a Trevgarb. What'd you enter the tournament with? The angry emo. Oh, wow. No attack? Was that a misclick? Huh. So he acerolled. Oh, I guess. Yeah, he missed. Wait. He had an energy on it. Did he attach to the Sneasel? Maybe that's it. So he attached Dark to the Sneasel when he should have held on to the... When he should have not attached so he could acerole his Zorark, attach DCE back. <sighs> oh, you're talking about NAIC. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what happened to our opponent there. So let's trade the Wimpod. Maybe we'll Guzma the Sneasel because that's so that because that's really the only the only thing that can bother us here, right? Yeah, we're we're G's otherwise. I think we just, because we have three abilities, I think I want to take down the Sneasel. I don't like filling up my bench with three Lele, but I want to take down the Sneasel. Limit his options. He's, he's paralleled. He, uh, only has two, yeah, yeah, I like this play. I'm, I'm good with this. Someone next to you in NAIC was playing Guzzlord. Yeah, that... That's not what you do if you want to win. So we promote Zorak GX, uh, two Sneasels down, can't imagine he dedicated more than two, uh, than a 2-2 two -two line to his deck, it might not even be just 2-1. Hmm. Hmm. Zorak 
Zoro Guard, he gets some good practice for Worlds format. <laughs> His record was 1 8, yeah. I bet it was. Uh, Mallow, okay, so here they can go for maybe Field Blower to get rid of the Parallel City. A DCE on my Zorar, uh, par an Enhanced Hammer to get rid of my DCE on the Zorark. That might be good. He has a large hand. Maybe he has a puzzle and he wants a second one. Two Guzmas down. Two one, two one Weavile down. <laughs> the win he got was from a no show. Wow. Yeah, dude, I think most of the team winning in tournament is Zorark. So we feel blower with the parallel city. Uh, here comes a rescue stretcher, sneasel maybe. Okay, shuffle. Was that two sneasels and a one sneasel weavile? Let me see. Play rescue stretcher. Doesn't show me what he shuffled back in. I think it was, uh, I think it was, a, let's see. It was two Sneasels and an Guru. Okay. Yeah, dude, I'm really tired. <laughs> I just got home from work. Puts the Lele down. Needs some extra damage for the bench. Okay. Yep. 82 Galisopod. <clears throat> Let's trade away Bridget. I think I want a Parallel City myself. Get two of the Leles off. I don't know if I need to do that this turn, though. Yeah. I don't need to do it this turn. Or do I just limit his bench again? Yeah, he didn't put the he doesn't have the sneasel down, so I can just parallel him. And then we'll armor press 480. Sounds good to me. No, I didn't actually. I haven't been on Facebook much today. You got new puppies though? I'll check that out. New pups, like uh, you got plural new puppies. That's lit. Here's the double puzzle. Acerola, probably. Yep, there's Acerola. He's going to run out of resources real quick. Field below are the parallel city. So he's down two puzzles, two Guzmas, his rescue stretcher. He's about to use his Acerola again after he trades. Uh. Is that one field blower that he used twice? Yeah, same field blower. He's probably only running three or four basic dark. And he's down two of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
excuse me. Oh, nice. What kind of uh, puppies? I have four beagles, so I'm a little, uh, I, pr I prefer beagles, <laughs> but I like all kind of dogs. So I think he gets a knockout here, right? Yeah, he'll, I think it'll be exactly a knockout. Yeah, 130 exactly after reducing armor press damage. Okay. So we can... No, we don't have anything we want to Ultra Ball for. We're just going to trade away Evil Soda. Australian Shepherds. Those are beautiful dogs. Um, we don't want to feel... We don't want to feel blower yet. Okay, so... We'll put this down. Um, and... And him down to three. And swing. With the band! We got the band. I mean, th that does it, right? Yeah, it does it. Hell yeah. And that's how you do it. So he's down to three cards, one trade. Uh, he can do 200 with Evil Admonition, but he'll, also, he'll need a choice ban to make that a knockout. Okay, he has two trades now. He got the second Zorark GX. Trade away a stand-in. So he needs Dark Energy Weavile Choice Band to get the knockout. That's not even for the game. That's just to get this knockout here. Yo, Telly, what's up, man? Thank you very much. I'm super stoked. All right, he whiffed. Evo Soda Azoro. And we can just take two one prizer knockouts from here on. Uh, so let's trade the Galisopod. We're done with those for the game. No DCE. Um, I'll also trade the Ultra Ball. And I think I'm just going to attach this to be safe. You know, we could always get end and need an energy attachment. Yeah, man, I uh, I have it built already <laughs> at home with Forbidden Shrines. I proxied it out. It's really cool. I'll probably be posting some gameplay of it uh, early next week on my YouTube. So we knock out the Sneasel, one prize. Uh, we just need to kill this Sneasel or the Weavile evolves into him and win the game from there. Um, yeah, I think we got this one. Even if he gets Weavile Dark Choice Band, he knocks me out and then I ride a speeding for a game. Zebstrika? Is that even standard legal? Oh, I didn't even get the click on her. All right, we won game one. Round one, game one. We got it. Hoopa Zergatry, Wishy Washy Mill. I think people could uh, potentially forget about Mill for uh, Worlds. Like, put it on the back burner and then uh, lose to it. And we're letting our opponent go first here. We will go second. I don't want to forget that. No, I would not like to go first. <laughs> uh, 
I have like I, I think tier one and tier two is, has a huge pool of decks for Worlds format. I think there's a lot of decks with potential. Not necessarily all new. A couple of them are new. Hmm. So he goes Zuru a start, Bench a Sneasel, Cynthia. So doesn't get the Bridget this game. Oh, and not anything else to play. So that's looking rough for him. We have Lele for Zuru a Zuru a Wimpod. Well, for Bridget for Zuru a Zuru a Wimpod. We have two, one Zorak prized. And one puzzle prize. Okay. Barring Guru's there. That's good. Bench this, do this, and pass. So we have Ultra Ball, Field Blower in our top deck if we need to for Lele for a supporter. Evolve Zorark and we're off to the races. Yeah, <laughs> another deck you can build for 10 bucks, right? Here is the Bridget a turn late. Wait, Puzzle? No, Puzzle's not in my hand. Oh, the Zorak, you're right. <laughs> you're right, Hustle, thank you very much. So, zero Zorak surprised. And, uh, oh, it's one of my Zoraks are full art. That always throws me off. I'm playing with three regulars and one full art on here. Okay, so he gets the riot of speeding. Uh, Bridget, riot of speeding, okay. Um, hmm. It's less likely that, yeah, he won't be able to knock this out with a Weavile if I don't evolve the second Zorak. Oh, that that's interesting, actually. Do I want to just Bridget here? For two more, for a Zorua and a Guru. I'm still guiding you, though you got your invite. <laughs> okay, we're going to evolve this. I'm going to trade Field Blower. Nice, okay. Get the Guru down. Um, I'm going to save that other bench spot. I was going to use Bridget if I didn't get anything else. Um, but smacking him for 100 is fine. We save the Bridget to Ultra Ball away next turn if we need to. Yeah, I like this. We'll just try speeding for 100. And the most they can do with the Weavile is uh, 100. And we can just go. I forgot to check if I forgot to check if uh, Acerola was prized. That's what I forgot to do. I forgot to note that down. Played safe, just go for Zoropod with Sylveana and Guru. Send it and play Evil Tower Mill or some weird deck. Uh, Zoropod with Sylveon sounds fine. Zoro Guardi also sounds really, really good. <clears throat> okay, so we Guzma my Zorua. And knock out with Riotous Beating. I think we're going to send up. Zorark, smack this 
Zorark will have two in one shot range. Ends really good here, actually. I like that. Nice top deck. Uh, Zorogardi, uh, it's good against Zoro Control. It's good against Ray. Um, it has Gallade and Guardi and Zorark, so you have three different attackers. Um, I'll be talking about that a lot as we get closer to the world, so. So, do I bench the Wimpod? Let's trade. Um, we'll trade Latios. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, three abilities, that's fine. I'm not going to Ultra Ball for the other Zork right now. I will bench this, though. I'll hold on to that energy. So he has two Zoraks ready to be one shot. Uh, I imagine he wants to find an Ace Arola this turn. For one of them at least. <sighs> he would also need another attacker though. So maybe Ace Arola, Zorark into Weavile, Dark Energy, smack me for 150. Parallel City hurts him really bad. Like, even though he's ahead four to six prizes, I, like, board state still, uh, I'm still ahead on board state. By my estimations, at least. And once he runs himself out of resources, if we even get to that late of the game, I could just guru. Right is beating. Okay, we take it. Counter catcher. Hmm. Do we need another? We might need to grab another Zorak this turn. So. I'm going to trade away. It hurts, but I'm trading away a DC here. It might not be the right play. I think it is. Might not be. We got a Guzma. That's lit. Um, Ultra Ball. Grab Zorark. I just want to get the damage Zorak out of there since we can't get any Sorola. Uh, evolving the Wimpod means less damage that Evil Admonition does. I'm not going to use the second trade. I just got it because I need it as an attacker. Couldn't use first impression because of Parallel City's damage reduction. And we'll take a knockout here. Finally, I have to say Zygarde is not good. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's going to cut it. Uh, Zoropod is uh, back where it should be. So, it's still possible that he gets a knockout on our bench Zorak. Uh, Evil Admonition is doing 150 right now. Evolving the Galisopod stopped it. It took it down from 200 to 150, which is really nice. But it can still get the two shot on the Zorark since it's already hit for 80. Uh, I think one of his biggest... Obstacles, yeah, he, he really needs to just get rid of my Parallel City. And maybe find a basic Dark Energy for himself.
So we Ultra Ball, and what are we, what are we getting here? Another Zorua. Okay, so I think it's going to be like last game. We'll knock out this Zork on the bench, and then take two one prize, pri uh, kill two one prizers. Oh, Acerola, okay. And now he has no board state. And we're just going to end that Zorak back into his deck. Trade away one Grass Energy. Keep the other for Glycopod. Trade away the Bridget. Easy trade fodder. Okay, um, yeah, looking good. He didn't get the greatest start game too, but the deck is also really underwhelming against Zoropod that is one setting up, two playing correctly, uh, three hitting some of what it needs, and I think I'm meeting all those requirements. He's going to end me to three. He has no Zorark yet. Maybe he gets one off of this. What he really wants... Oh, Ambush. What he really wanted there is... Uh, <clears throat> is a Weavile. It'll beast. Alright, he scooped. <sighs> GG, man. So yeah, I, I only got on the stream for the winning in match, so I'm going to get off in a minute. Uh, but if anyone has requests for matches you want to see, Worlds Format IRL matches, let me know. Because uh, I'm going to start recording them tomorrow. I just got a uh, new battery for my camera, so I can do that. Uh, oh yeah, and since I'm recording this for YouTube as well, forgot about that for a second. If you guys are watching on YouTube... Let me know what games you want to see, uh, what matches you want to see from Worlds Format decks that you're thinking about right here on the channel, because I'll be recording those soon. And uh, see you next time here on Celio's Network.